Hello everyone, welcome to Pedro Plays and the next episode in our Football Manager series. Can you believe we're up to episode 11? Uh, in this episode we're going to look through the next few games which were top of the table clashes um, before looking at our live game which is going to be against our local rival uh, Millwall. So keep watching. So just to jump on to our first uh, game that we're going to recap, um, we played uh, Bolton Wanderers. Now we actually played them in real life in midweek and got absolutely battered by them uh, for the second time this season. Um, so I was quite pleased. <coughs> oh, wow, look at that. Um, <laughs> I think I've just hit puberty. Um, so I was quite pleased actually to, um, <laughs> to, to see that we actually did get one over uh, Bolton Wanderers. Uh, in this episode we actually did end up winning at 2-0 uh, fantastic result so uh, we did have let's just have a quick look at the uh, the lineups before we um uh, before we start uh, did bring Osadebi into the center Bradley Dak and Zella Lim um, and obviously keeping Cody McDonald after the last episode uh, keeping him up top um, uh, for, for this game as well now we did start off really well on the first minute Osadebi scores and he does go ahead and um, score uh, a volley so let's have a quick look at, at this uh, Zelalem brings it into Osadebi who just volleys it gets a little bit lucky gets the deflection um, but nevertheless very pleased to see him getting on the score sheet he's um, a little bit he's been a little bit sort of a quiet assassin he's got four goals this is his fourth goal um, so yeah really good and it was a you know sort of cagey affair throughout the game but on the 89th minute Scott Wagstaff made sure of the win uh, to bring it to uh, to 2-0 and you can see his goal just here again pops up and then great ball uh, great goal straight into the top right hand corner um, great finish for, for Scott Wagstaff now Bolton at the, the time of the recording were actually third uh, and we were fifth so a really good result for, for this one in the next game we played MK Dons uh, and this was another top of the table clash at this point point in um, the time that we played them that they were third uh, and we were fourth uh, so really uh, sort of close top of the, the table clash and I made a couple of changes for this one uh, Zella Lem uh, I pushed forward a little bit Bradley Dak actually picked up a knock in the last game so uh, he missed out on this one you've got Jimmy Kebe that's coming back in on the left hand side um, and um, yeah, continuing with Osadebi in the midfield after his um, game last. Now nine minutes, uh, MK Doms did get the first goal through Samir Karufas, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, this was a, a good goal actually, good well worked goal, um, sort of broke through, but poor pass there from Bielek. And obviously the goalkeeper can't really do much, he's in a bit of no man's land. Uh, Bielek's been playing quite well, so it's a bit disappointing really to, to see him. Uh, see him do that but a couple of minutes later we did pop up with a goal through Zellalem great free kick there top left hand corner um, right in front of the uh, the Rainham in there um, it's a really great goal and brought us right back into it we sort of pushed on after that to be honest um, and then again Osadebi on the 44th minute just for half time look at this for a goal absolute corker in off the post another volley that's two goals in two games and both of them volleys uh, for Emmanuel Osadebi um, so really putting him with a, himself in with a shout of getting the uh, the player um, of the week and that's how that one finished so it finished 2-1 um, and again it's two big results against two top teams um, so yeah really really looking good for our promotional uh, push so the next game was another top of the table clash. Can you believe it? Three games in a row, all top of the table clashes. Uh, we actually played Peterborough now at the point of this game. We were second, they were first. Uh, we were obviously on a good run of form. Um, but as you can see, unfortunately, uh, they did end up running out winners on this one. Um, they've got Marcus Madison, who scored a couple of goals uh, against us. This was the first one. Um, again, another well-worked well -worked goal. And you know, sort of just peels the defence open there, and uh, yeah, that was their first goal to, to make it one 0 We did get goal back on the 53rd minute via Bradley Dak just after half time. They responded quite well to half time team talk. Kebe gets the ball, breaks to Bradley Dak, and he just sort of tucks it, tucks it away. It was only a small knock, so he was back for this game, and that was one one. And you know, I was really hoping that we could push on and, and maybe get a second or at least you know settle for the draw. Uh, but on second, 72nd minute, um, Madison does pop up again with another worked, well-worked goal. 
uh, you know, just peeling the defence over. And um, and that was that. So, finished the game 2-1, uh, unfortunately, which puts us right back down to fifth. So, just goes to show you how close uh, it is right at the top of the table. Uh, let's just have a little look at the table before we uh, go on and, and play Millwall. Um, so, you can see we're fifth uh, on 43 points. Peterborough, unfortunately, you know, have uh, pulled through a little bit. Uh, pulled away a little bit, sorry, just just after beating us. So they're 47th, uh, 47 points. But the rest from second down to fifth, um, and even sixth really, is is very very close. You know, not meant not much in it. MK Dons are currently sit, sitting in second, but they've got a game in hand over, you know, sort of the rest of the teams other than Swindon. Um, so yeah, really really close at, at the minute, and you know, really fancy any of the top, uh, certainly top five to to go and get. You know that that automatic promotional spot as things stand, but obviously still quite a way to go at the, se at the season. We just sort of uh, just gone past Christmas, um, it's actually New Year's Eve um, as you look at this. So we've got a game today. Today we are going to be playing at Millwall. Now Millwall, as you can see, currently down 18th for the table. Uh, Millwall is a little bit of a local rival for us. It's a little bit of a little bit of a derby. Um, not quite as big as. You know some of the others like Millwall West Ham, for instance, but um, but there is a little bit of um, uh, animosity and a little bit of local rivalry there. So we hope to get one uh, up on them. We are playing at their ground, um, so we are away, and uh, yeah, this would be a very very big game for um, for any of the Gillingham fans. Okay, so this is going to be our lineup for the Millwall game. Uh, we're going to keep Jonathan Bond uh, in net. Obviously, going to go with McDonald uh, up front. He's our top goal scorer. Um, pleased to say we've got Bradley Dak and Zellalem, two big players for us both making uh, this game Osadebi is going to play in the midfield again he's he's on a good run of form over the last few games um, and central defence got Christian Bielek and Anthony Gerrard uh, Anthony Gerrard's not played in the last few games uh, is after a bit more game time uh, so I thought this is a perfect opportunity to get a bit more experience um, into the centre back role and, and hopefully he can uh, you know, sort of improve on, on the last game he had which, uh, um, with us, which I think was pretty poor, actually, if I remember rightly. Um, so, just looking at the um, a few of the lone players, actually, obviously got a few lone players in this in this starting lineup. Um, just to give you a bit of an update on, on those, really, as it is coming around to Christmas, and a few of their loan uh, loan deals are due to end. Um, so, Bailey Cargill, actually, his loan deal was due to end. Uh, pleased to say, managed to get him for the rest of the season. He's played 27 games, um, which I think is possibly, you know, almost every single game that we've played in the league. Um, really good average rating. He's been a, a consistent performer for us. Uh, another person that whose loan deal is due to end soon is uh, Jonathan Bond. Um, and he is, uh, yeah, unfortunately, um, it looks like his parent club are looking to call him back um, to give him some playing time. Um, so it does look like uh, we are due to lose Jonathan Bond, uh, unfortunately. Uh, which does leave us, you know, needing uh, someone in goal. Now, obviously, we've got Stuart Nelson, who would normally be our first choice goalkeeper. So I'm not really too panicking. He's a good goalkeeper. He's only really not played for us because, you know, Jonathan Bond's been doing quite well. Um, and you may remember in the summer, we actually signed uh, a little bit of a uh, hot prospect. Uh, it was Jindrik Stanek, uh, who. Uh, I believe we gave him a run in actually on the Checker Trade Trophy, um, but I'm going to be looking at you know sort of promoting him up to second choice go goalkeeper, maybe giving him a few uh, a few minutes of game time uh, as we can. Um, so that's the team lineups. So let's jump ahead uh, into the game. Here we go. Then Millwall versus Gillingham uh, at the New Den, and uh, we are looking forward to this one. Uh, you know, I'm really hoping for us to to bounce back. Uh, two winning ways in this game. See, we lost the last one. Uh, don't want that to get to us too much because uh, you know I'd really like us to continue uh, a good run of form before that uh, and hopefully bounce back with a win. So let's see how we get on uh, against Millwall. I'm expecting quite a tough game. Uh, you know they are fairly low in the table, but but you know they are a good side and actually uh, on their day they can beat anyone else in this league. Um, and obviously we are away, so they do have the home advantage there. Um, so yeah, let's see how we uh, see how we get on in this one. It's going to be going to be interesting. Okay, so Nublo's got a little bit of a break here. Crosses it into Wagstaff. Wagstaff, far oh, good shot there. Good save by uh, uh, by Archer. Goes out for a Gillingham goal. Uh, Gillingham corner. Sorry, can we can we whip a good ball in here? Zellerlin with the corner. That's cleared by Nelson. Okay, got a chance here to break. Osadebi plays a long ball. Can Nublo get on the end of it? It's not looking like it. Archer clears it. 
bit scrappy in the midfield here. Millwall now have a chance to break. And Brian plays it to Williams. Gregory's free. Oh, great save. Great save. We're going to miss that actually when it goes. Great save. Uh, Gregory with a really good chance. Uh, should have scored it, really, let's be honest. It was clean through. No pressure from any of the defenders, unfortunately. Only the keeper to beat, but Jonathan Bond pulls off a great save. McDonald's here, plays it to Wagstaff. Chance to hit him on the counter attack. Wagstaff instead chooses to go back to Oscillaja. And that's it, breaks up. Just before half time, 37 minutes. O'Brien for Millwall. Oh, look at that. Charged down by Gerard. Excellent block there. And yeah, so Cody McDonald has been uh, has been injured, potential foot injury. Um, so we're gonna have to sub him off uh, on the just before half time, actually on the um, uh, 43rd minute. Uh, so let's see, do we go for Rory Donnelly or Elliot List? Or maybe we could. Hmm. Let's have a look. I'm gonna sub him for Rory Donnelly. Not the biggest fan of Donnelly, if I'm being honest. Um, but you know, Elliot List is not, he's still a, a very much a young gun. He's, he's not really sort of first choice striker, he's more of a winger actually for us. Um, so, yes, yeah, so let's put uh, Rory Donnelly on and you know, hopefully he can come up with the goods and he can get us back in the game. If not, we can always maybe rely on a Osadebi volley. Um, so, it's half time here, nil nil, not been the greatest game, it's been a bit scrappy so far. Um, hoping that the second half is going to be a little bit better uh, but we're definitely not out of it but they've probably had the uh, the better spell um, and the better chances I've got the team fired up ready for the second half can we uh, go on and score in this half let's see Millwall with a chance here on the uh, just before 50 minutes and Brian to Williams there's to Butcher to Abdu Brian again. Oh, he hits a crossbar there, I believe. So close, so close. Goodness, they've not got pro prolific strikers. Okay, Donnelly now. He's got a chance to break. Ah, oh, look at that. Go on, Nublé. Nublé picks up the ball. Can he cross it in? Whips it in. Oh, Donnelly, where were you? Now Millwall, chance to break against us here. Come on, I do. Oh, good save again from Jonathan Bond. Okay, 66 minutes. So I'm going to make a couple of changes, I think. Try and freshen things up a little bit. Bradley Dak's not playing very well so far. Let's move Oscar Debbie forward a little bit. And let's put switch Bradley Dak for Josh Wright. And then I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So yeah, we get on for the next sort of five, ten minutes. Could also put you know, switch Osa Debbie with Zellalem, put him forward a little bit. Good save again from Jonathan Bond. He's had a great game actually in this one. Saved us a few times really. It's a bit closer than I'd like this game actually. I would have, you know, thought we would have been beating them quite comfortably, but it has been close. Fortunately, we're not losing it at the moment, but um, certainly been a few hairy moments. On well, Nublé chance it. Oh, good save from Archer. Tell you what, the keepers have, have pulled off some outstanding saves in this game. Corner here. Zellenem chance to whip it in. Oh, we've got a penalty. Steve Morrison brings down... Uh, who's that? Brings down Christian Bielek. We've got Zellenem chance from the penalty spot. Good penalty taker. Can he get it in? Maybe I've just jinxed myself there. Let's see. Crowd on the edge of their seats. Oh no! Keeps going to save it. Can't believe it. Unbelievable. What is this? Last few minutes of the game. Mill with a chance. Oh no! Os Osilaja. What was that? He's just going to put the ball in the back of his own net. No! On the 88th minute. Look at this. That's a good cross to be fair, but he's got no one on him. And he just follies it into the back of his own net. Unbelievable. Come on. 
full time. You're joking. I can't believe we just lost 1 0 because one of our players has just volleyed it into the back of his own net. That is it. He's not getting player of the week this, this week. Um, so that's it for this episode. Bit of a disappointing way to, to end it. You know, started off with two wins, ended up with two defeats. Unbelievable. Um, let's see where that has put us in the uh, in the league table. I'm sure, it's probably knocked us down a little bit. Oh no, we're still sitting in fifth place. So not a huge disaster, but obviously we've given up a little bit of ground in the the run for the automatic promotions. Um, but massively disappointing result. I thought we should have been winning that one, and to, to lose in the manner in which we did um, was was absolutely gutted. But um, still plenty of the season left. We've got the transfer window is coming up. Um, so let's see what business we can do uh, in the transfer window uh, and see if we can get um, some money for Braddy Dak and to see you know, who we can bring in as a replacement. Got me on a couple of players um, to perhaps want to shore up the defence and then you know want to perhaps look at a striker or maybe a winger as well. Um, so yeah, so that is it for this, this episode. I think my... Uh, player of the week there can only really be uh, one winner this week one standout player it's going to be this guy here Manuel Osadebi 20 years old uh, he is an Irish midfielder he's got one cap for the Irish under 21's advanced playmaker um, turns into a very good player actually on this game um, so he is one if you are playing in the lower leagues definitely recommend you know trying to sign him uh, but he obviously popped up with two volleys in the first goal uh, in the first couple of games sorry um, and he did very very well um, so he is going to be our uh, player of the week uh, for this week so that's it for this episode if you did enjoy this uh, make sure you to hit the like button and let me know in the comments below uh, if there's any players you think um, we should be looking to sign uh, in the transfer window and don't forget if you don't subscribe to Pedro Plays already uh, do hit that subscribe button I'm releasing videos um, every week uh, from simulation games to football manager to uh, sim airport to uh, you know games like banished and uh, and all sorts so do make sure you hit the subscribe button um, just to see uh, some more of the videos but thank you very much for watching guys and take care